depth with the winter village since my previous video was very short. Um, just take a look at what I've got going on here before the holiday actually passes us by. I'll be going out of town uh, in this next week, so I won't have access to do this again before the holiday. So this is the third year that we've done a winter village in this space. Um, we have a big chalkboard wall that we like to use. Um, we typically have like this Aurora on there. I like this one this year. It's not as vibrant as it has been in the past. Uh, so I'd like to see if I can get some um, UV chalk. I've, I've seen that in some stores and I, I wanna try that out. Um, I did go to an estate sale over the summer and get several um, buildings that I was able to put together um, that pretty much doubled um, the village from what I did last year. Um, so I did get the, uh, the cottage here. Um, I got the train stations. This is the, uh, the official train station that came with the bus. Um, and then this is a rebrickable model that I did modify a little bit. Um, before I had a little platform opening here, but I, I just put the railing there and put a little entrance off to the side. Um, yeah, the, the, uh, the guy that had this before me um, apparently bought this from somebody's website with paper instructions and the, the parts all included as a kind of self-made kit. Um, so that was, a, that was a tricky one to find. I was kind of confused there for a little bit, um, but it's a cool model anyway. I, I wanna see if I can connect the two of them together to make um, more of a train complex, train station complex. Um, I got the uh, bakery as well in the estate sale, as well as the uh, toy shop. Um, so that was a pretty good find. I did get some other stuff as well, but I haven't, uh, haven't been able to put together full buildings. So kind of the overview of this whole village, the, the kind of grand plan here is uh, that we have the North Pole area up there. That's kind of the magical magical area. We wanted a, a forest um, or some kind of a divider. It changes up in different years. First year it was a, like a frozen river. Um, some kind of a divider uh, that separates the North Pole from the rest of the, uh, the real world. And then in this layout, um, we've got kind of the residentials down here, the transit stuff here, and then like the the town center, town square here. Um, mostly official sets, uh, but there are some custom builds, um, lots of modifications to official sets as well. Um, this was the Lunar New Year ice rink uh, from a few years ago that I kind of took all the, the Lunar New Year specific stuff off um, and added my own, own stuff to it. Um, this little coffee cart was a gift with purchase uh, from a few years ago that uh, I just put in that little space. There was kind of a little Lunar New Year, um, Year of the Tiger photo booth. Um, I thought that was a pretty good replacement. All right, we've got, uh, what is it? The Hogsmeade Village, Village Visit. Um, one building here, and then the other one back over here in kind of the residentials. I think that's an excellent addition. Not too many modifications there. I uh, got the new Alpine Lodge this year. Let's show you the back here. A little frozen, frozen river area with this bridge. The bridge is custom. That was originally made for a Harry Potter layout um, to hold the Hogwarts Express, but uh, it just comes in handy. I don't know, it's just kind of a standalone bridge that, that I can kind of add in everywhere. It's been in several displays that I've done um, throughout the years. So you have a run over a tree here. Let's park grandma and grandpa over here. Looks a little better. Pick up that tree I knocked over. There we go. We've got the uh, build a minifigure um, carolers from this, this year. Gift with purchase tree. This is the one that spins uh, with the train at the bottom. And then the uh, the other trees are, I believe, all from official sets, um, just kind of scattered around. Lots of the uh, the pine trees from the pick-a-brick wall this year as well. 
we've got a little photo shoot here with a kid with the reindeer guy. My son is really into Marvel and Avengers, so he wanted to have a few, few of his characters in there. We're both big Star Wars fans, so there's R2 in his Christmas sweater. And we've added some family members in. Brick built us. This is uh, supposed to rep represent my parents at the train station, always traveling. We've got uh, Santa's sleigh. In my opinion, one of the best Christmas sets they've ever done. This is two of them combined, so you get eight reindeer. Not a big fan of Rudolph, honestly. I, I prefer just the eight. Um, but I did add a few of the gold pieces from the second sleigh uh, to this one just to kind of make it a little bit more deluxe. Um, this is an old, old acrylic stand um, that I acquired from an old display. And then um, I just cut a piece of acrylic for it all to stand on. Now this thing is just balanced on there. I did glue some tiles to kind of fit, it's gonna focus, there we go, fit around this little flat piece. Um, so it just rests there on that kind of center of gravity. And then in the back, we've got a few more glued pieces back here underneath the sleigh. Those are the only things attaching to the actual sleigh, just four little studs there from those clear slopes that are glued onto that acrylic slab. But I'm not worried about it. I think it'll be fine. It hasn't fallen yet. So if we move on to the North Pole here, let's see, we've got the uh, ski slope area with a few of the elves, Elsa and Olaf. I really enjoy using the um, cloud piece there that Elsa is standing on. I got that um, in bulk from the uh, pick a brick wall. Um, and that works really well for little snow drifts. I use that quite a bit around here. Um, little gift with purchase here for the dancing polar bears. It didn't have polar bears originally, it was just ice skaters, but this is much more fantastical. We've got the large kind of two-in-one tree that they did a few years ago um, with a ton of presents around um, from a lot of the Christmas sets just kind of thrown in there and compiled and then like this uh, jack-in-the-box here, some custom ones. Um, the little snow globe behind that elf for the um, the collectible minifigure elf. That's what she came with. Pretty fun. There's the little uh, hobby horse from the knight figure as well. What else? We've got the uh, the light up tree. Really interesting build there. A little snowball fight. We've got, in my opinion, definitely the best Christmas figure they've ever done, I think. Um, maybe one of my favorite figures of all time is the uh, the Toy Soldier, the Nutcracker. Um, I would like so many more of those. Um, I just have a few at the moment, but. Uh, here's the head elf and a mischievous helper trying to uh, snip off his hat. And then there's that collectible when you figure elf. Got quite a few of her to try and change up the, uh, the different outfits for everybody. A few more of the uh, toy soldiers guarding the elf clubhouse official set. Oh man, got a chunk out of that reindeer. Need to fix that. Here's the uh, gift of purchase from the um, gingerbread house uh, to go with the, the large one. Kind of doing a forced perspective thing there. I don't know if that's coming across, but... And then this is a custom build. I call it the gingerbread shed. Although now I've replaced it with the sugar plum fairy. So that's such a great figure. We've got a popsicle garden off to the side and a pathway made of candy and pie and a cherry on top. Pretty cute. Uh, the big mountain here is made of actually like just cardboard packing spacers. Um, I really, really like to use recycled or kind of reused materials whenever I can, especially to bulk out like huge areas. Like that would just be so much brick 
um, if it were if it were done that way, all with brick. It's just unnecessary. It would take a lot of time. This is really easy and cheap. Um, you can kind of carve out with a box knife certain layers to make a cave. I think we had this um, polar bear bit down here last year. Um, we didn't really come up with anything to put there this year, but uh, maybe next year we'll find another use for it. Um, but we just ended up using some craft paper uh, and a glue stick on the top of uh, the top layers here for the snow. Uh, and then the same craft paper um, wrapped around the uh, the actual dresser here for the the snow in the bottom. But I think it gives a really great effect. These are these uh, IKEA boxes, the storage boxes. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce those because I'm going to butcher it. But I got several of those around. I think there's one hidden down here as well. Yep. Um, those make a good good addition. Um, gives some different texture on the side in different areas. Um, but I also end up storing a lot of this uh, Christmas figures and some of my Christmas brickheads and stuff in those uh, during the off season. So yeah, we're really, really enjoying this. Um, this is the third year it's been done and the first of those three that it wasn't lit up. And I really wish that I had time to do that. I'm not gonna attempt um, to do that this year, but um, next year it's gotta happen. It does not feel the same when it's not lit up. But uh, like I was saying, this is a doubled display this year, so it would have been an immense amount of time to light everything up the way I normally do it. Um, I do have a lot of the lights, probably enough to do the whole thing, but um, it took us literally all day, um, the Saturday after uh, Thanksgiving, to set this up. It was a lot of work, but a lot of fun. All right, leave me a comment if you have any suggestions for what I should do next year or any other sets like the uh, Harry Potter sets or any other little gift of purchases um, or rebrickable sets or anything that you guys recommend that I add next year. I want to add more to the North Pole. You know, I think the village is, is pretty pretty filled out. Um, I actually think the new Orient Express train would look really, really good here, especially in that dark blue and kind of fill out that space. This is a little bit barren. I guess I could have added the Hogwarts Express. That would have been pretty good as well, but um, the Orient Express looks really, really good. I like that a lot. I'm not, not much of a train fan, so this is, this is uh, basically all the track I have, but I think that would look good. I would love to do like a big Santa's workshop as kind of the main building in the North Pole. I would love to have a um, a reindeer stable. I believe I have another Santa's sleigh. So I could um, open that up, kind of part it out and get four more reindeer for a, for a stable up here. I think next year, this is probably gonna have to be two displays. I think we're gonna have to have the real world on the uh, on the dresser and these these uh, bookshelves, and then have the North Pole somewhere else. I'm not really sure how we would be able to expand that anymore. Maybe we can use this space over here um, to add another table or something to expand the North Pole. But that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite detail here? Thanks, guys.